ni pagka sa background. Nakinig na, 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 ka pa kahapon? Mm-hmm. Eh? Ang dami na nga na, ano na nga ako. Sabi, ba't ang pangyabang niya ang asip? Ang dami. Sabi niya, kasi first time mo, ayaw niya yung sure na magandang. Kailang isang kapit yung buwan. Sabi niya pa kasi, o ano, gusto niya, bidin ko na rin kayo. Gusto ko, isang kapit, malaro pa. Kasi pa kaya, wala pa yung time background, no? Hindi ko siya yun na siya. 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 Hindi na po tayo sa So, this is your uh, last time na po para humingi kay ASEC ng uh, mga siguro few SOTs niya before the full event ends tomorrow. So, yun po ASEC. I'll we'll give it to you. Sir, ano na po ba yung mga games po na nag-end po sa akin? Uh, karamihan ng ating mga individual events, nakapag-end na tayo. Yung mga mapiplay na lang bukas are the championship games, mostly for the for the team sports, particularly basketball. No, bukas yung ating morning, yung ating finals for the for the basketball for both elementary and secondary boys and girls. Ay, yung ating mga injuries sa ating mga contact sports, uh, all of our minor injuries, kung meron man tayong mga minor injuries, have been reported to our medical committee in coordination with the city health office na meron din sariling team yan for referral to our hospitals. But as of now, we have not received any uh, major injuries that have occurred uh, among our athletes in the contact sports. Asa, can you tell us kung ano yung magiging tapo tomorrow sa closing? Our closing program will commence at around 2.30 in the afternoon. We will have a pre-program at 3 o'clock until 4 p.m. because our program proper that will be attended by the Vice President Secretary Sara Duterte will, will start at 4 p.m. until 5 p.m. After that, uh, the city has offered a victory concert and other spectacular activities like drone uh, exhibition as well as fireworks display and concert in the evening. Yeah, we have we have uh, at least three or around three that were reported since the start of the Palaro. That's uh, Monday, uh, Saturday, Sunday of the Palarong Pambansa. But as per latest from the uh, city hospital or city health office, uh, na control naman ito, and there seems to be no outbreak in any of our billeting space. They are athletes, yeah. Well, uh, at the start, we look at the intermittent rains as an issue, but as the week progressed, it seemed to be like a normal occurrence already during the Palaro, and uh, it did not hamper whatsoever the enthusiasm of all, all our athletes, and it did not cause cancellation or suspension of games or delays whatsoever. So we are still on track in terms of our schedule, and all games will be done by tomorrow. Well, uh, pagdating kasi sa mga sports apparels, no, uh, yung ating mga local government units as well as our regional offices take care of the sports apparels of all the delegations. So, uh, well, there are some by preference, for example, that they can run easier without their uh, their sportswear, but of course, I bet without their shoes, but we are still requiring them for safety purposes na magkaroon pa rin sila ng mga uh, footwear, proper footwear, lalong-lalo na kung nas, nasa running events sila. No? So, 
Kung may mga instances tayo mga ganyan, we will take a look into it kung anong nangyari, kung bakit wala na silang mga um, spo, um, tawag dyan, uh, footwear during the later part of the competition siguro. Uh, but we will take a look at that. And yung sa security po, kamusta ang nakuha ng security po mga di pala akong pamantay? Ah, it's impeccable. It's an impeccable security measure that was uh, provided by the city government of Marikina no? from day one up to today until the last day tomorrow. Uh, during the during the first day, of course, we had the additional security from the PSG and the VPSG. So so far, wala tayong mga security uh, issues throughout the entire duration of the palaro. That includes billeting spaces. Yeah. Asset bogus po ba announce your yung next host ng palaro? Yes, it will be announced tomorrow. So if you wanna know where. You should be here during the closing program. As a Kelly Cordero po, Comrade, you may be asked na rin po kung may nag-passive po sa COVID-19. Positive saan? COVID we have no report of any uh, infection for COVID-19. As a Tusugang po lang yung sinabi niya kanina, pagdating din sa mga apparel, will you assure na by next year dapat wala na ganun na insidente? Kasi as a Kelly, mm -hmm. eh, nagmukhang hmm, parang kawawa yung dating ng atleta uh, when it came out sa mga news. Oh, well, uh, yes, of course, no, we will make sure na lahat ng mga sports apparels, particularly the running events and the, and the athletic events, kailangan meron talaga silang appropriate footwear. We will make sure of that. Magkakaroon naman kami ng uh, post-palaro evaluation by September where we are going to have uh, the briefing with the city and the Palarong Pambansa Secretariat and all those who were involved in the Palaro so that we can uh, identify the issues and concerns that we have this year, and then we will address them all the coming Palaro in 2024. Are you referring to the Caraga region or here? In Caraga? Yes. Yeah. You know, in Caraga region, in Caraga region, you have um, islands like Shargao, we have islands of Dinagat, and we still have island schools somewhere in Surigao del Norte. So definitely, lahat ng mga sports facilities kasi natin ay nasa, nasa loob mismo ng Surigao City or in Butuan City. So definitely, they will have to cross rivers for their training. That is why we are actually promoting sports clubs and sports that are readily, um, I mean, that are readily done inside or within their own municipalities, but for exceptional players really that need um, special venues, they will really have to cross rivers for that matter. <laughs> well, well, you know, it comes with the excitement of being in the city after three years yes, of uh, of uh, being of the Palaro being cancelled. So it's part of the it's part of the excitement that can't be that can't be um, stopped or ano. But we assure you that all our players are taken care of by their chaperones and by their coaches, and their whereabouts are always uh, um, the the coaches are always um, informed of their whereabouts. But eh, within Marikina, siguro they were using their their free voucher, their vouchers for free pairs of shoes and so on. So, yeah. Yes, as an ancestor relationship from Bobo Palikong. Asa ka meron po ba tayong mga night at or mga reklamo na possible cheating incidents sa mga games po ngayon pa lang pamita? Wala tayong reports on cheating incidents but we do have reports on on, alam nyo yung screening natin and accreditation of players natin, meron tayong committee that takes care of that. And we've had several, um, we've had several um, cases on ineligible, ineligible athletes uh, coming from some of the regions, but they are not rampant at all. So they are just part of the process of our uh, screening for, uh, and accreditation of our athletes. Kasi kanina yung sa boxing, kanina, just uh, concern about yung mga estudyante na, na, na susuntok kanina, sila mawalan ng hininga, yung iba na yung two, two boxers natin. Is there a possibility na gawin na lang mga sapatan sa sa 
Actually, wala nga tayong boxing sa elementary, I believe, no? So, sa secondary lang tayo talaga. So, we have weight categories for that in, in boxing as it is the rule in boxing. Pero we will also review our contact sports kasi marami tayong mga, mga feedback na parang it's too combative. Yung mga contact sports natin are too combative. So, perhaps given the age of our learners, we will also uh, include that in our evaluation during the post-palaro evaluation. Yes, that is actually a that is actually a ways forward for the palarong pambansa, no? Uh, in fact, uh, inumpisahan natin ngayon yung Learners' Rights and Protection Office, and then we have we have the medical teams that are really looking into. Uh, signs or or any indications that athletes may be involved in such but uh, we have the recommendation already coming from the PSC that we will also employ uh, doping uh, tests for athletes in the future. We have chaperones for them. They have their trainers. Some of them have their parents, no? Because we need to give special attention to our uh, learners joining the para games. And we have, uh, we have all the schools or the billeting schools are all friendly for are all friendly. I mean, in terms of physical physical um, setup of the billeting schools, friendly naman siya for learners with disabilities. So we are confident that they are taken care of in their own billeting schools. Of course, yes. It will continue because uh, Palaro is an inclusive uh, competition, sports competition. So ever since, in include natin. Ang, ang difference lang ngayon is dati, naka-separate siya separate dates. But if you notice this year, it, it happened in synchronized in synchronized na siya sa ating regular games and we've just completed the awarding awarding ceremonies earlier which i attended dito sa swimming pool area thank you so much po let us okay na? naman po na Yes, in behalf of the Palarong Pambansa Board, the Department of Education, I would like to thank our media partners. Since day one, you have helped the Palarong Pambansa promote the games, promote these uh, annual scholastic competitions, and throughout the week, you have been instrumental in updating our public, our sports enthusiasts, regarding the good things that are happening here in the Palarong Pambansa. I sincerely thank you all for being a part of Palarong Pambansa 2023 and for your contribution in making sure that all learners are batang malakas para sa bansang matatag. Thank you so much. See you all tomorrow. See you all tomorrow sa opening. Closing. Closing as